Step into the world of intrigue and deduction as we explore the 1970 cinematic gem, The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. Directed by the acclaimed Billy Wilder, this lesser-known masterpiece offers a unique perspective on the legendary detective, delving into the enigmatic aspects of his life beyond the magnifying glass. The film raises intriguing questions about the private side of Sherlock Holmes, inviting viewers to ponder the complexities of his character. How does this portrayal of Holmes resonate with your own perception of the iconic detective? Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Beyond its on-screen narrative, the private life of Sherlock Holmes harbors fascinating anecdotes and lesser-known facts that add layers to its allure. What tidbits about the making of this film captivate your interest? Are there any behind-the-scenes stories that have become part of your appreciation for this cinematic venture? As we delve into the mysteries of the private life of Sherlock Holmes, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Whether it's a moment of revelation, a shared viewing experience, or an unexpected connection, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what's your tale about the private life of Sherlock Holmes? Share your thoughts and join the conversation below, unraveling the cinematic enigma that has left an indelible mark on many. The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes, a 1970 film, delves into the lesser-known aspects of the famed detective's life. Directed by Billy Wilder, the movie explores Holmes' personal relationships and encounters a mysterious woman who disrupts his routine. The narrative weaves elements of humor, drama, and intrigue as Holmes and Dr. Watson navigate through a complex web of events, including a missing husband, espionage, and the Loch Ness Monster. The film is characterized by its departure from the typical detective story, offering a more human portrayal of Holmes. Despite its unique approach, the movie faced challenges during production, leading to cuts and alterations that impacted Wilder's original vision. The private life of Sherlock Holmes remains a distinctive entry in the Holmesian canon, offering audiences a glimpse into the enigmatic detective's personal life and showcasing a different facet of his character. Its influence on subsequent interpretations of Sherlock Holmes in popular culture is undeniable as it paved the way for more nuanced portrayals of the iconic detective moving beyond the conventional crime-solving narrative. In 2016, a surprising discovery brought a piece of the 1970 Sherlock Holmes film back into the spotlight. A 30-foot model of the Loch Ness Monster, originally crafted for the movie, resurfaced in Loch Ness almost 50 years after it sank during production. The film's director, Billy Wilder, had requested alterations to the prop, leading to its unexpected demise during a test run in the actual loch. Despite challenges, Wilder's determination led to the creation of a new Nessie for the film, but only its head and neck were filmed in a studio tank. The recovered prop, found 180 meters deep in Loch Ness, sparked renewed interest in the movie's tumultuous production. Adrian Shine, a Loch Ness expert, confirmed the prop's identity based on its location, shape, and measurements. The incident not only added a unique chapter to the film's history, but also showcased Wilder's resilience in overcoming challenges as he navigated lighting issues and the loss of the original monster prop. This unexpected twist in the Loch Ness Monster saga provides a captivating glimpse into the behind-the-scenes struggles of the private life of Sherlock Holmes. The director's decision to deviate from the typical portrayal of Holmes, coupled with the film's production challenges, highlights the movie's distinctive place in the Sherlockian narrative. Composer Mikkels Arza, at Billy Wilder's request, incorporated his 1956 violin concerto into the film score for The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. Arza supplemented it with additional original music, creating a unique soundtrack. The movie's main poster intriguingly delved into lesser-known aspects of Sherlock Holmes, highlighting his concealed glass vials, a potential security blunder, and a mysterious woman's overnight stay. This text preamble set the tone for the film, promising a fresh perspective on the iconic detective. Notably, Sir Christopher Lee, who portrayed Mycroft Holmes, had previously played Sir Henry Baskerville in The Hound of the Baskervilles, showcasing his connection to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's works. These behind-the-scenes details offer insights into the film's creative choices and marketing strategy, contributing to its distinctive place in the Sherlockian narrative. 
The fusion of Arza's adapted music, the provocative poster, and Lee's dual roles adds layers to the 1970 movie, presenting a unique lens through which audiences can view the private life of Sherlock Holmes. Sir Christopher Lee made a distinctive appearance in The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes sans his usual hairpiece. This rare choice added a unique touch to his portrayal of Mycroft Holmes. Interestingly, Robert Stevens, who played Sherlock Holmes, experienced a strain in the role, later advising Jeremy Brett against taking on the character for the Granada TV series. Stevens' mixed feelings offer a glimpse into the challenges actors faced in bringing the iconic detective to life. Notably, director Billy Wilder, a longtime Sherlock Holmes fan, helmed the project. His passion for the detective's stories likely contributed to the film's nuanced approach. The behind-the-scenes connection between Wilder and the source material sheds light on the director's personal investment in the private life of Sherlock Holmes. Wilder's commitment to authenticity, as seen in Sir Christopher Lee's unconventional appearance and Robert Stevens' internal struggles, underscores the director's dedication to presenting a different facet of Holmes. These insights into the cast dynamics and Wilder's personal connection to the material add layers to the film's narrative, providing a deeper understanding of the creative process behind the private life of Sherlock Holmes. This exploration of unique aspects, from Lee's appearance to Stephen's reservations and Wilder's passion, invites viewers to appreciate the film's distinctiveness within the Sherlockian realm. The intersection of actor choices and directorial vision creates a compelling lens through which the private life of Sherlock Holmes is revealed on screen. It's a testament to the intricacies involved in bringing such an iconic character to life. The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes, part of a wave of 1970s satirical takes on the iconic detective, stands alongside films like They Might Be Giants and The 7% Solution. Notably, Sir Christopher Lee stepped in at short notice to replace George Sanders, adding his distinct touch to the movie. Director Billy Wilder deliberately cast Robert Stevens and Colin Blakely, avoiding the association with Hollywood's established leading men. This intentional choice aimed to bring a fresh perspective to Holmes and Watson, setting the film apart from conventional portrayals. In the landscape of Holmesian satires, the private life of Sherlock Holmes stands out, not just for its unique comedic approach, but also for the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped its cast. Sir Christopher Lee's unexpected inclusion and Wilder's deliberate casting choices contribute to the film's distinctive place in the realm of Sherlock Holmes adaptations. The private life of Sherlock Holmes, with its offbeat humor and unconventional casting, provides a captivating glimpse into the director's commitment to presenting a different facet of the iconic detective. The film's role in the 1970s Sherlock Holmes satirical wave, coupled with the intriguing casting decisions, showcases a lesser explored side of Holmesian storytelling. As we bid adieu to our journey through the enigmatic corridors of the private life of Sherlock Holmes, let the echoes of deduction linger in the chambers of your thoughts delve into the cinematic mysteries spun during that bygone era when storytelling was an art form whispered through the lens of a magnifying glass. Now, as the curtains fall, it's your turn to unravel the threads woven by the iconic detective. Reflect on the moments that resonated with your soul, the subtle nuances that tugged at your curiosity, and the enigmatic charm of Holmes that left an indelible imprint on your cinematic memory. Share your musings, unveil the secrets you've tucked away in the recesses of your mind, and let the collective symphony of reflections paint a vivid tapestry of diverse perspectives. Whether it's the unraveling of a mystery or the chemistry between characters, your thoughts are the missing pieces completing this cinematic puzzle. In the grand tapestry of your experiences, where does the private life of Sherlock Holmes find its place? Is it a riddle solved, a lingering question, or a silent companion in your movie repertoire? The beauty lies in the diverse landscapes of our interpretations. Thank you for joining this exploration of cinematic brilliance. Your time and reflections add depth to the legacy of the private life of Sherlock Holmes. Until our next adventure into the realms of storytelling, keep the spirit of deduction alive.